talking about the actual match, or are you talking about the aftermath? No, 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 not the actual match. The match looks fine. The match is fine, not you. Okay, because I'm going to let you know right now, after I broke my leg, one of the reasons I kind of, like, disappeared off the Internet from, like, my live space and Facebook and stuff is because people said it was karma from the actual match, and then people sending me death wishes saying that they wish I would have broke my neck instead and died, and that I should have got a blood clot and died. So I'm just letting you know right now, I am... I am... I am one of the people, and, and you can ask tons of people and stuff. I I love to treat others as I want to be treated. I don't want to be treated badly, and I don't want others to be thinking of me bad. I want to be friends with as many people as I can because that's just the type of person I am. I'm a fun-loving person, and for people to say that I'm this mean, malicious person. After that, though, I got more I got more people and promoters calling me, want me to come in and beat up people than oh, before. Oh, dude, I can imagine. I was I'm like, not saying anything bad about it because I think it's fucking hilarious. I think it's one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I have okay. I have just that clip. I have just that clip on like mega upload where I can watch it anytime. But You're I'm not a sadistic about the person, part. right? Not really. I just think it's funny. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh no, I just, no. I, mean, I love seeing but, people's but heads get stomped like into the concrete, so... but I'm not sadistic. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like American History X? You like that part, don't you? You pop for that part. Yeah, You're like, yeah. I, uh, yeah. I like that part. <laughs> you know, the rest of the movie's kind of lame, but I like that one part. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> You're fucking horrible. <laughs> but, yeah, I, mean, see, I think that, I think it's great, but I love you know I like the mass transit thing too. You know, but because to me those kind of guys are fucking the kind of guys that are on the message boards all the time, like talking shit. You know, just like being nerdy and dorky and shit. And then when you know, then they get into it. And it's like you know, and I don't know Mike Levy. I don't know mass transit or anything like that. But that's just what goes through my head when I think of it, because it's like, man, how can you take that? Why don't you just shoot back and at least try? You know what I mean? Because that looks so vicious, and that's what made it so great, too, you know, at the same hey, time. Hey, bro, why don't, you, why don't you just tell us all how you really feel? Don't hold it back, you know? <laughs> that's, that's right. I started, you know, I try to say, said, hey, bro. Said, hey, bro. <laughs> I pulled out a Jimmy Jacobs <laughs> moment there. Hey, bro. <laughs> 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 Let me... I know. Hey, no, I'm not wrestling Mickey Knuckles. I'm going to wrestle Tony. Why you not? Out, brother. She's calling you out, man. What's going calling on? calling you out, yo. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, could you, no, you, come on. I mean, even if it's Mickey Knuckles, I don't, I mean, I don't want to get beat by a girl now. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, oh, man. If I get, if I get beat by about? Doink, it's still, hey. Listen, I'm still a man, for fuck's sake. I mean, even though I'm talking about wrestling uh-huh, on uh-huh. the radio. Hold uh, a second. Uh, Totally to debunk what you just said. Talk to Necro about me. He doesn't think of me as a girl at all. So. Oh, you went with Necro Butcher, brother. One of the toughest guys in the deathmatch scene. Talk to Necro on brain damage. There you go. Brain damage loves me. After after the match we had at King of the Death Matches, we're both walking back from the ring to the to the locker room to go back and have some beers because, let's face it, that was a little rough. And... uh it's some fans like, so what? You beat a fucking girl. I thought he was going to kill this dude. He was all over him. You can't even get in the ring with her beat up like he is now and fuck her up. I guarantee you she will whoop your ass. I was like, um, Marvin, let's, let's go in the back and drink some beers, man. Um, let's not get into a fight right now. He, he, he turned into a Mark over the heckle. Huh? <laughs> Who, Marvin? No, I, or, uh, brain damage? He's called him by his real name, Maggie. I know, that. right? You know what's funny, uh, Mickey, that that's my real name, too. Marvin is? That explains a lot. That's my real name. That's my, <laughs> I, don't, I don't play damage for a long time, too. He, every time we talk to each other, we call each other Marvin, we laugh at each other. It's, yeah, well, we used to call him Marmaduke because he kind of looks like the, the dog with the big head and the awkward body. You know, Marmaduke. So every time we see him, we're like, what's up, Marmaduke? He didn't get it for the first five times. But after that, he kind of caught on. He's a little blonde sometimes, I think. So, uh, hey, Mickey, Mickey and Sensei and Mr. California, real uh-huh. quick, the last, the last match I had with a girl, you know how it ended? With her uh, crying and you sadly disappointed? Oh, 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 <laughs> that was funny. Is, is I'm sorry. Worse. I think he's. I think he's drunk. But I he must be because I got that zinger in on him and he didn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But let me ask. This is what I want to do before I get cut off. Now I'm in a, on a on a hard line, so hopefully that I won't get uh, cut off this time. Uh, Skype has just been we got these hideous storms, and Mr. California wanted me to get to this whole thing, and which I wanted to get to before, because we have more death match guys on than any other radio show, probably. I mean, as far as you know, we've had on. I don't know. Mr. California can list them all. I don't know who you know all of them, but but every time you know, like anyone that's worked with IWA, we always ask them what the relationship between you and Ian Rotten is. And, oh, and we do it, we, we, don't, we don't do it because we really care. We do it because it may, it's, it's awkward for them, and they don't ever answer. They never will answer it. They won't touch it. You know, and, and you don't even have to answer it or anything like that either. I just want you to know that we're not, like, sandbagging you and telling you something that, you know, it's like having you on and then not bringing it, bringing it up because we ask, like, every Deathmatch IWA person that comes on. So, I, you know, if you ever heard it's the It's kind of weird before, nobody answers it, though. No, they won't. They don't. They will never answer. It's like they're, they're it's like, like one of those things. They're, they're scared of it. They're scared of it. I don't know. They, they, well, you know what I think it is. I, I really do. I think it's because of like internet. Because you know how internet people are, anyways, right? And internet's such an influence on wrestling as it is. Otherwise, why would you all have a radio show on the internet, right? Right. So, uh, we can't hear the virgins. Huh? We can't hear the virgins. Yeah. Exactly. So. I thought you said you were a virgin. I was like, what? Oh, what, does that have, what does that have to do with price of eggs in China, my friend? No, um, I think I think because of those rumors on there, and, and I'm going to give you the lowdown, like I, I have nothing to do with IWA or Ian Rotten or, or any of that anymore. Um, we've parted ways. You know, everybody has their crossing, I guess. At one point in time, though, I truly believed as IWA was, was my home, I mean, hell, I worked for it for how many years? I wrestled for it for, with a broken leg, and you know I put up and took down the ring for five, six years, and set up everything and, and promoted and everything else. That was that was my home, and I really thought of Ian and, and Patty as parents to me because I uh, I, I kind of don't have any. You know, um, my mom died was real young, and my dad's a dick. So, um, but Ian and Patty both you know took me in and everything else. So I really thought of them as parents and as family, but, you know, as everybody's going to learn, eventually everybody's got to sever ties and part ways, so. So, see, this is what that, because we don't, we, we always ask, because I always wonder, was Ian Rotten your dad? Or, well, um, you know, because I, can, I can't even tell, like, because it kind of looks like he could be, and then, you know, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because we both got the could. fatness. I got you. We're both fat. I got you. I'll, oh, I'll find out where you live. No, no, um, no, actually, right. actually, actually, it, uh, no, it's not because of the, actually, Ian Rotten's not, uh, Ian Rotten, I mean, in, not in good shape. He looks like he's Why are you stuttering so bad, brother? I was just joking. Well, because because, <laughs> because you're, you're saying he's fat, and I'm like, well, he's not, he's not fat. He's broken. I mean, his body, you know, so you can't tell how old he is because he looks, he probably looks a lot older than he really is in real okay. life. And, and you know what I mean? Because it's kind of, you know, because he's, I mean, he's probably. So been now you're long. saying I, I look like I'm broken. No, I'm saying that what he looks the hell? old enough that he. No, I'm saying he he looks old enough that he could be your father, but I'm not sure. I mean, age wise, okay. I don't know how old you um, are. I don't know how old he is. But, so he's not your he's not your biological father. Cause no, what happened? It always what, seems that when you see him on the videotapes, it always seems like he cares. He, he always looked like he took care of you. Right. Like he would come That's out right. and look kind of like you were his daughter, but then it could be you were his girlfriend. Hey, since I think it was a mentor and a trainer, man. I, think I heard so many rumors from all them and stuff, guys. We're like, not asking you, Mr. California. Dumbass. 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 I'm asking We're him. Hold on a second. He was talking, and I was curious. Why are you yelling at him? He just answered, man. What would you say? Mr. California, <laughs> zip it. I'm say? asking Mickey Knuckles. I want to hear what he just said. The, just the, no, he said you were. A, it was a uh, trainer uh No, he said he asked the other He asked the other IWA Mid-South guy something. And then y'all come oh, along. I didn't hear that. I was, I was busy yelling at him. Okay, Mr. California, you asked the IWA Mid-South guys what? Oh, come on, man. Oh, no, I asked many guys what, what was the relationship. I know. I've asked you. them. But I know. I asked them personally. I, I brought a lot of Mid-South guys out here to, to the West Coast, and they just told me he was a mentor and a trainer for many years. You know what I mean, like, he was like a father figure to you. That's what they told but me. That's the, the thing was, okay, um, you have to know most wrestlers are, are fucked up because of family life. Um, because of of things that have, you know, most of us are messed up, you know. Um, take certain people, for example, you know, they were probably beat as a kid or something. Um, not saying it happened to me, I'm just saying. Um, 